What's up everybody, and welcome to part 2 of our Rumble Roses XX modding tutorial. In today's episode we're going to cover how to install the game from a physical disk and how to explore the pack files using Quick PMS. In order to install the game from a physical disk, you're going to need an Xbox 360. This will not work if you have an Xbox One, an Xbox One X, an Xbox Series X, or an Xbox Series S. Uh, the only kind of Xbox that you can install the physical game from is an Xbox 360, so make sure you have one of those before getting started. Now, it is actually possible to read the Xbox game discs on your PC directly if you have the correct type of drive, and there is some info on redump.org about what type of drive you need to get. These are all very old IDE <laughs> DVD drives, so they're a little bit tricky to install in a modern PC. I have managed to do this myself. I may make a video about this at some point, maybe not on this channel, uh, but I don't really recommend this route. It's very finicky and uh, it's just easier to get an Xbox 360 <laughs> than one of these drives in my opinion. All right, so assuming you have an Xbox 360 and a physical copy of the game, let's get started with copying the contents of the DVD onto your PC. Okay, so my Xbox 360 that you see here is in Japanese, and so is my copy of the game. That's not really relevant to this tutorial. Uh, the instructions are basically the same. You hit the same couple of buttons, and I'll show you what they are and explain to you what they are in English if you cannot read Japanese. Okay, so the first thing to do is put in the game, and you can see I have Rumble Roses XX inserted in my Xbox here and hit the X button on your controller. Uh, this will take you to the uh, info, I think, or the about game uh, page in the store. Once on the store page, uh, simply select install game, or uh, in Japanese it says game o torikomu. Um, in English, I think it just says install game. So select that option and choose the USB device to install it to. Now, you can install it to your hard drive and then copy it to your USB device, but I'm not really sure why you'd want to go through the extra pain. <laughs> it's quite slow reading the uh, game files from the hard drive onto the USB. So installing to the USB directly is the best course of action that I recommend here. Expect this process to take quite a bit longer than what you're seeing here. I'm running this section of the video at 16x, <laughs> so it's going to take a little while to install the files. Next, we're going to use Xenia Canary to install the live file that we got from our Xbox uh, onto our PC. If you haven't watched the first part of this tutorial, uh, please go ahead and review that. I go over a lot of details with regard to using Xenia Canary to do this. In this video, I'm just going to show you what I'm doing. Start by taking the USB stick out of your Xbox 360, putting it into your PC. And here I have it mounted as drive F, and we can go ahead and go file, install content, browse to our USB stick, and find the content on the, uh, on the USB stick. Now I have a lot of garbage here on this USB stick besides the Xbox 360 files, but the directory that we're looking for is called content with a capital C here. Uh, you can tell that it's a hidden directory, so by default you actually won't see it. So you have to make sure that Explorer is set to a view show hidden files uh, when you browse to it. Um, so inside the content directory, there are a couple of directories that you're going to see. One is all zeros and the other one's a long string of hex numbers. Ignore that second one, uh, it just has some metadata that we're not really interested in. All the game files are in that zeros directory, so that's where we go. Uh, once in there, the directory that we're looking for for Rumble Roses XX is called 4B4E07D1. I happen to have it at the top here, but I have lots of other ones because, uh, as you can tell, I have lots of Xbox 360 discs that I've copied to my PC. Uh, but for the purposes of this, if you've never done this before, you'll probably only have that one directory here, so just go ahead and pop in there. 
Now in this one, we have two folders, one ends in two, and the other one is a bunch of zeros with a four in the middle. Now, the one that ends in two, uh, that is where we have our DLC. So in this case, I actually happen to have one DLC downloaded and copy it to the USB. In this other folder that's got the four in the middle of a lot of zeros, this is where the actual game file is installed. And so if we go in here, we can see the uh, that there's a long string of hex numbers that should be familiar if you've watched the previous uh, episode of this tutorial. And then there's the folder. Uh, these are the files that we need, uh, specifically the uh, the file with no extension that we're going to install with Xenia. Once again, Xenia is not going to give you any progress or indication that it's doing anything. It's simply going to return a blank screen, and it's up to you to go to the location where it's going to install the files to go and confirm that they're actually there. So let's browse to Documents, Xenia, Content, and then the name of the folder for Rumble Roses double X is 4B4E07D1, as mentioned before. Uh, we go in here, and now we see that in addition to the, the folder that we had that was all zeros with a seven in the middle, now we have a new folder with all zeros and a four in the middle. Now that other folder with the seven is the one that I made in the previous tutorial when I installed the game from uh, the Microsoft website. That's where those files go, the game on demand version. The disk version goes into this other directory that has a four. So we go in here and there's another directory. Uh, there's going to be actually potentially many directories in here, depending on how many disk based games you've installed. Uh, but in our case, this is the only one. So we have this uh, very long string of hex number directory name. We go in here, and here we find the familiar files that we've seen in the previous tutorial after we installed the uh, the download version of the game. Uh, we have the default XEX file, which we can use to run the game, and actually will be using to run the game. And then we have the pack folder, where all the character data and uh, other various pack files are located. Uh, so if we go in here, we can see that Xenia Canary is still installing them. They're going to keep showing up for a little while. So it takes some time to install the game. Be patient. Do not uh, close down Xenia Canary. Just let these files populate until you're sure that everything's here and it, the directory is no, no longer growing. Okay, so finally, now that we have the game installed uh, and we've shown a couple of different ways to install it, on your PC, let's take a look at actually getting inside these pack files and explore the game files. The program that we're going to use to explore the files initially is called Quick BMS, and you can get the links to download both Quick BMS as well as Euclid BMS script uh, in the description below. Okay, now here I've made a document rrxx directory to hold all these files to make it a little bit easier to explain what's happening. And I've also copied one of the pack files that was from our uh, installed game into this directory. This is also a nice thing to do. You probably don't want to unpack these pack files directly where they're installed. In fact, uh, don't do that, uh, especially if you're going to be running the game uh, from that directory, which you should be um, as, as we move forward. So it's a good habit to get into to get these pack files out of the install directory for Xenia and uh, unpack them somewhere else. Because if you unpack them in place, you'll basically most likely cause the game to crash and you might not know why. Uh, so copy them out of the way like I do here and uh, let's proceed. Now, quickbms.exe is inside this quickbms folder along with a bunch of other uh, sort of ancillary files that uh, it uses. So let's go in here and run quick BMS. Now in this example, I'm running it as administrator because for some reason it stopped uh, working correctly when I'm running it as my own user. I think I enabled some security settings. So do ignore that. I don't think you need to do it, but in case uh, you double click it and nothing happens or you don't get the uh, file explorer like I do, try running it uh, as administrator. You may have better luck. Now, when you start Quick BMS, it's going to prompt you for three file locations. The first one is going to be the BMS script that you're going to use. This is the uke.bms file, uh, and you can tell what it's asking you for by seeing the filter on the files. So the first file explorer is going to ask you to find a BMS script. 
So this is going to be uke.bms. Once you select that, the second prompt is going to ask you to find a pack file. Now this is going to be our pack file that we've copied in here. And the third prompt is the uh, the really tricky one. So this is the output directory. Um, it won't let you actually fill in the output directory where it says that it will. Um, that seems to be a lie. So what you need to do is you need to right click in there, do new uh, folder, uh, give it an appropriate name. And here I name it the same as the name of the pack file. And then you need to enter that folder. Um, so actually typing in the name of the folder like I do in the example doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, but you do need to enter that folder and then click save once you're in there. And it will hopefully at that point unpack the files into the correct location. At this point, it's going to unpack the files. This may take a little while if it's a large pack file and you'll see them scrolling through in the command prompt. At the end, once it stops, just hit enter to close the command prompt. And then we can go back up the directory to where we actually unpacked the files. Now, the specific pack file that I grabbed here is the very first character pack file. And when we go in here, we're going to see a lot of directories that are just numbers. And uh, these are each of these directories contains an, an entire set of model objects and uh, textures for a particular character version. So this first one, the all zeros one is the default Reiko. Uh, and you can see from the preview on the images here that these are the textures for Reiko's costume. And you can't quite see it on the screen here, but at the bottom, uh, they're actually object files as well. Now, you might be a little intimidated at this point seeing all these different directories with uh, just numerical names uh, and ask yourself, how do I actually identify which of these corresponds to which character in the game? Um, that's something that I've actually done a lot of the legwork for you. And I've created a doc that maps these objects to characters that you can look up fairly easily and figure out where exactly you need to go for each particular character. Now I'm showing it on the screen here. It's on the GitHub page that I've set up that contains a lot of these tools and uh, other documentation. So I'll also link it down in the description below. So if you want to explore this, uh, you can use that as a reference to help guide you to the right location. All right, so this is the end of this portion of the tutorial. Uh, today we covered how to install the game from a physical disk, as well as how to explore the pack files using Quick BMS. In the next episode, I'm hoping to show you a whole other tool that will let us unpack the pack files, but this time also repack them. So stay tuned for that and see you next time.